Hello, my name is Jelena Jarinic and I come from the Union University Law School in Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, I participate in the uh, Cost Action European Family Support Network. Um, and in January 2020, I had a great opportunity to um, perform a short-term scientific mission at the University of Galway uh, in, in Ireland. Um, so um, my uh, mission uh, was conducted uh, in the, at the National University of Ireland in Galway, specifically at the UNESCO Child and Family Research Center, for which I have to say is probably one of the best places in Europe where you can do such research. Uh, the mission itself was um, conducted uh, during second part of January and it lasted for two working weeks. So in this, let's say, relatively short period, I conducted a desk-based review of um, legal literature, but also literature in different other fields like social policy, so social work, etc., et um, uh, which um, related to institutional structures of family support uh, services um, across Europe. Uh, first of all, I have to say that um, I have to thank the, 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 the colleagues from the UNESCO Child and, and Family Research Center for, uh, for uh, welcoming uh, me and, and uh, my colleague Jelena Arsic, who also uh, conducted her um, STSM during the same period. Um, at the research center, uh, the, the hospitality that we received um, and also the, the, the research sources which were at our disposal uh, made these two weeks that we spent in, in, in Galway, uh, let's say, a, a period for remembering. Um, so we had plenty of opportunity to discuss um, different issues. Uh, to plan uh, future cooperation, future research, research joint articles uh, relating to this uh, specific project. Uh, and let's say for these two weeks, we really felt like, uh, um, like uh, at home. Uh, so thank you once again to, to all of our colleagues. A big thank you for all of the colleagues at the UNESCO Child and Family Research uh, Center. It's, it's really a wonderful place to to be and, and to do research. Uh, so my SDSM uh, was titled uh, National Structures of Family Support Across Europe. Um, I am a, a lawyer by training and uh, a, a legal uh, a professor as, uh, by, by profession. Um, so the, the, the topics that I focus are uh, primarily in the legal field. But as I said, this opportunity uh, uh, and, and, uh, and the resources provided in Galway um, gave me um, a, a completely different aspect, from a, a multidisciplinary aspect, uh, which I was not able to, uh, to achieve uh, only studying legal literature at my home university. So, um, the, the main topic and aims of, of uh, my SDSM were to outline, if possible, the main models of types uh, of uh, national legislative approaches towards institutionalization of family support in European countries, which are um, participating in this cost action, and to answer, if possible, uh, what kind of in institutional structures do, do European states establish in order to provide family support, and also how do they distribute competencies among these structures, because as, as you will see, uh, these structures are uh, usually not uh, simple or, um, and uh, con consist of different institutions and different actors among which different parts of competencies uh, relating to family support are distributed. Um, finally, it was my aim to identify the main courses of reform in European countries in the last decade um, and to identify what are the common characteristics to all these countries um, or the majority of these countries, if, if such can be identified. Um, the, 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 the aims of the, 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 the SDSM 
are closely related to, to the work done by one of the working groups within this cost action, which is actually preparing a scoping study of, of family support services um, across Europe. Um, so um, these are the, the, the main research questions which I posed in, my, uh, in the proposal for my STSM. Um, and as I said, um, the, they relate to different models of institutional setup um, across Europe. Then uh, the second question relates to major courses of reform during the last decade in European countries. And finally, is it possible to discern some features um, which uh, relate to institutional setup of family support services, uh, which would be common to all European countries? And if yes, what are these uh, features? Um, in terms of preliminary findings of my SDSM, because um, uh, I have collected, um, let's say, so, uh, so much uh, sources and, and so much literature uh, that um, there, there are lots of topics that can be, be covered. Uh, in terms of legal framework in general, um, this is covered both by international instruments, which are ratified in, by large, uh, uh, by, by most uh, uh, European countries or all European countries. Um, then there, there is some reference uh, to family, always the national constitutions, uh, not so often to family support, but some conclusions can be drawn from that as well. And finally, there, there are like, uh, let's say, probably tens or uh, tens of pieces of legislation in each of these countries um, in different fields, uh, because family policy is always a part of uh, wider policy. So it's a multidisciplinary issue, and it, it usually is not covered by one specific systemic law. Uh, when it comes to implementing institutions, uh, what I have found is that um, in most European countries, what we um, can um, recognize as, a, let's say, a common, common trend is the so-called subsidiarization. Uh, this is uh, a phenomenon which was recognized in, in, in literature is, is having two parts. One of, uh, one of the parts is territorial reorganization. So mostly in most countries, these services are decentralized or deconcentrated. And the other um, aspect concerns to multiplication of these actors. So the, they appear both on the central, local, regional, provincial level, but also they come from different sectors. So these institutions and these actors are not only state institutions or public institutions, but they come also from the private sector and uh, usually also from the voluntary sector. All these actors perform different tasks or different parts of tasks. So some of them are um, um, related to policy formulation, others to implementation, and uh, uh, um, also another group for monitoring and oversight. Sometimes is even these tasks are divided uh, into different segments and different actors um, also implemented in, in parallel or, to, or, or, or together. Um, but, uh, however, this, uh, this doesn't mean that uh, all European uh, countries have the same organization or, or, or that the, the same organization brings um, um, the same results or effects because when filtered through different regulatory frameworks or which are usually the result and, and are usually the result of different uh, let's say conditions within a country within a society they bring uh, they can bring bring bring, bring com completely diverging effects uh, in terms of um, um, effect these uh, uh, structures uh, or, or these systems can bring and um, in legal legal terms I, uh, there are two main concerns which I have identified the first one is the, uh, the the obvious need for policy coordination so both vertical and horizontal coordination because when you have many actors within one field you have to have uh, coordination 
both in, in the, from between the center and decentralized actor, act, actors, but also on the same level of government. For example, at the central level, we have different ministries or different departments, which basically deal with different aspects of family support. And the other concern um, is related to equity, because when services are decentralized, for example, within a territory or a country, this is also influenced, for example, by the level of development of the, uh, these parts of the country. So uh, uh, we can also speak about uh, discrimination or inequity between, <clears throat> uh, let's say, users of these uh, services um, um, provided by decentralized actors. Um, finally, if we want to identify models of institutional setup, uh, we can basically use two, I'd say, types or, or groups of criteria. So one uh, would concern the level of decentralization or centralization, which can also be viewed as part of wider processes of centralization and decentralization in some countries. Um, European countries, which are usually happen in circular uh, phases. And the other uh, uh, criteria for uh, classification uh, concerns the variety of actors and their specific roles, as uh, I have uh, briefly presented already. Um, so, uh, Besides these preliminary findings, I have to say that um, both researching the literature, but also talking to the co my colleagues from Ireland and my colleague from Serbia during this, these uh, uh, two weeks of, I have to say, really intensive uh, work and research, um, I uh, have to say that uh, each of these preliminary findings sparked uh, uh, ideas of uh, se separate topics for separ separate further research. And I have listed only some of them here. So um, th these are actually uh, uh, some, some ideas for future research uh, that I, I um, can um, conduct either on my own or together with, with other colleagues. So is there, for example, a place uh, uh, for some kind of supranational standards which would relate to institutional setup uh, of provision of family support uh, uh, services? Are they necessary? Are there, uh, is it possible to introduce them? And what effects could we expect from, from such standards? Also, talking to, to my colleagues, we concluded that there are similarities between countries, usually, the, they often happen in, in, let's say, regional circumstances. So we could, um, besides talking, presenting our national re reports in our individual countries, we could also think about comparing different uh, groups of countries and provi providing regional studies. Um, I already said that coordination is a big concern in this field. Uh, and when it comes to, to, to the legal field, there uh, are issues which could be explored further uh, in terms of legal obligation and also practice and case law when it comes to um, <clears throat> coordination between uh, uh, different institutions as well as oversight when, when these competences are delegated outside of the public sphere, outside of the public sector or, or decentralized to different levels of government. Um, uh, a specific, um, my specific field of interest is actually this decentralization and local government. So finally, I would very much like to be uh, further involved in re possibly in research which would, would concern decentralization of family support on one hand and equity um, uh, on, on the other hand. Um, so after these, let's say, brief findings of of uh, 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 my, my research during the SDSM, for which uh, hopefully uh, some of them uh, would, will be uh, uh, presented in, in the forms of um, uh, art published articles in the near future. Um, I have to say that uh, this was, um, this was a, a really enriching um, experience for me and um, the SDSM that was provided uh, within this cost project actually uh, enabled me to, to conduct the research um, which I probably wouldn't be able to do 
at my home university, both in terms of resources, but also work obligations that we all have um, in teaching and, and, and different uh, other tasks that we perform in our everyday uh, work. So uh, even though the, the, the <clears throat> time they ha that I have spent uh, in, in Galway was, uh, was uh, limited, I, I have to say that uh, from, from this point of view, I think that um, I, I wouldn't have, wouldn't be able to, uh, to explore so much and to, to, uh, to reach uh, these results uh, if, I, uh, if I was at my home university probably for, for a much uh, longer period of time. So I have to say that the SDSNs are really a unique uh, opportunity for researchers to step out of their everyday routines and really to, to dedicate uh, time to a specific, uh, uh, specific issue. So I would definitely um, recommend uh, applying uh, for STSM, especially to younger colleagues. Uh, that's all for me. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can find my, my contact details on, on the Eurofem uh, website, um, along with, with uh, colleagues, other colleagues which are uh, involved. Thank you.